I have here my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus phone and my service provider is T-Mobile and I notice that my internet speeds have dropped from around 50 megabits per second all the way down to 2 and it was based mostly upon the multimedia or video websites that I visited including Netflix, YouTube and Google's Play Store as well as when I turn on my T-Mobile hotspot that allows other devices like my tablets to tether to my phone or connect to the internet through my phone which when connected I've been getting about the same 2 to 3 megabits per second speed as well. And so I found out after contacting T-Mobile is that there's a switch you can flip to turn on the high speed access to those sites. It also appears that flipping the switch to on removes the throttle placed on by the provider of those extremely slow speeds. Now keep in mind you do want to make sure that you're signed up for the high speed service and if so then like me I wanted that high speed to be available on any site that I go to as well as when connecting other devices to the internet through my phone. Now I did have high speed access all along it's just that I wasn't notified about this and realized after a while at one point I wasn't getting the speed that I paid for. It's been my experience that some service providers will do this and that includes lower rates for the same services. So that's why I try to contact T-Mobile about once a year as I was told by a rep there to see if I can get my same services at a lower price and more often than not because with newer technology and more specials and users signing up I've been able to have some significant savings and it appears to be no different with the speed here so if you are signed up for high-speed internet from any service provider like Verizon or in this example T-Mobile and you want to see if you're being throttled well for your speed that is here's how I tested it I opened up the internet on my phone and went to the website bandwidthplace.com to test my internet speed and tap start and so if like me and you signed up for the high speed then you should see as I initially did some decent speeds around 40 to 50 megabits per second here now I don't care about testing the upload speed so let me close out of here and go to another site now this other site fast.com is by Netflix and it will also test for internet speed I came here after bandwidthplace.com using that as my control and then saw that my speeds were extremely low about 2 megabits per second so my next test was at YouTube I wanted to find a high definition video like a 1080 and let me play it turn the phone on the side and then to find out what kind of speeds you're getting on YouTube you can go up and click on the three dots the more button and you want to select stats for nerds because we're nerds and when I got back then was two to three megabits per second as opposed to now where it's about in the mid 20s because I've already fixed it in any case on my mobile hotspot when I selected that to allow other devices to hook up and use the internet through my phone like for my tablet going to Google Play Store to download it was about two megabits per second as well extremely slow so I'm here at the T-Mobile website clicked on my T-Mobile typed in my login information and then logged in and then I was told to come up here and click on profile click on it and then over here on the left hand side I was asked if I could see media settings I did not so the rep got off talked to somebody in tech support came back asked me to refresh the screen when I did I could then see it then I could click on media settings and there you go high def video resolution and it's on well, if you do have the media settings and it's not turned on, well, turn it on. In any case, when I turned it on, the rep told me it would be about three to four hours before I would see the change or increase in internet speed. And I checked it in about that time and I didn't see the increase in speed, so I figured, well, I'll wait till the next day. And I did, and I got the speeds that I just showed you from two, three megabits per second up to 40, sometimes 50. And the internet connection, when I flipped on the mobile hotspot, it worked, and I got more than just two to three megabits per second as well so I could actually download at higher speeds onto those connected tablets. Another thing that you ought to be aware of is that the only thing affected thus far by the switch over to HD video resolution or an account that's no longer throttled is that all the generated GIFs do not compress on my phone to under one megabyte where they used to be no matter what the video was including the maximum length of six seconds of the GIF but now fluctuate instead over one megabyte to anywhere from at least two to five megabytes and that's great to have that higher resolution but I can only send it to phones who are on the HD video resolution or non throttle network as it were because as you can see here here's a snapshot of my phone when I did try to send it out it failed it says the file is greater than one megabyte and exceeds the maximum file size limit for the recipient 
So even if just one person in my text group is not on the higher speed network or the HD video resolution plan, my larger than one megabyte gets rejected. And I tested this with another T-Mobile phone that had the HD video resolution turned on and sent them my two megabyte gift separately from the group here, and they received the larger file size. One more thing to keep in mind for faster speeds that you already may be aware of is the family plan. That is, if one person on the family plan is cruising the internet, then the speeds are fine. But if another member gets on it at the same time, then you're on the split plan, or your family speed does get split to as many members who are on at the same time. For example, if I go ahead and push the start button here, we'll take a look at the speeds for one person on the network. And I'm not in a great location, so the speeds won't be great, maybe about 20 megabits per second. Now if I go ahead and push start on both phones that are on the same plan at the same time, it doesn't reach 20 megabits per second. You see how the speed gets split? So having a large family, everybody on at the same time, you're not going to be able to all watch YouTube together at once. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.